Hi, how are you? I hope you've been well. This video is a little bit different. I've decided to take in a creative streak since I've been inspired by all the summer colors this year, the bright ones, the pastel ones, everything. So for the next few videos, I'm going to be taking advantage of this inspiration while I still have it. To start this look, I'm using the Cream Gel Liner by Colourpop in Exit, and I am using this to outline what will eventually be a moon on my eye. These are all water-based body paints by Global Body Art. These are the only ones I have now, but I'm excited to expand in the future. The first color that I go in with is called Baby Blue, and I'm using just a regular foundation applicator brush to lay down the color. Normally I use a spray bottle with water to spray into the color and then get the consistency that I want, but I didn't have a spray bottle so I'm using it like I use any acrylic paints with a jar of water and the paint, which is why when I start off it is very transparent. However, I didn't like the transparency so I changed that up. Usually a spray bottle works just fine. I do this on the top half of my face and at the top half of my chest there. The second color I'm using is Lilac. And with the same applicator brush, I'm applying that down and trying to blend it as I go into the baby blue color. I think it's important to note as well, these colors do oxidize, so it looks very light now, but as I go along and add more to it, it gets darker and darker. I also realized that I don't like transparency and sometimes I go in with colors and make them darker on my own. And then I do the same thing to the top half of my head there. Again, that water consistency thing is going to ruin it for the whole time. The next color I go in with is yellow and I use this with a duo fiber brush. This is a mistake by the way, and you see it in my face when I realize that this color looks like trash. I fix it, but it kind of looks bad now, trust the process, I had to. I put that on the next layer of my face, and then after that I go in with an orange with the same duo fiber brush. Because in my opinion, I was able to stipple it on and blend it a little better. This color looked like a mistake at the time too, so I kind of was wondering here what to do next. I try to lightly blend that with the duo fiber brush on the bottom half of my face, but I am wondering where I went wrong. So I then decided to try balance it out with the color pink, which initially I liked more when I saw it, but the colors were still really, really dark. I did it anyway because I'm trying to work in layers here. But I did like that blend, so I took what I had residue from that brush down to the top half of my neck and on the bottom of my ears. I didn't have a white body paint like the other colors, so the one I'm using is a liquid one and just a slightly thinner applicator brush. And I tried something, which failed. And instead of moving on, I tried it again and again and again. I kind of gave up for a minute there buffing everything out, trying to blend everything, make it look as even as possible. What I wanted to go for was Dawn on the water, and this was not what was happening just yet. So with that mistake, I went in again with the white body paint and I tried to make it as pastel as I could. And it sort of worked this time because it does dry. And when the color dries, it's not as opaque. Again, the water consistency made it so transparent that it was able to sit on top of the other body paints and make them lighter. I applied that to the bottom half of my face, as you can see, and it did make it lighter initially, but it wasn't working out to how I wanted it to. So once again, this was another fail. Yep, have a sip of coffee because I was really stressed because I didn't know how to make pastels. So instead I continued to blend my neck down, the pink, the orange, and the yellow down further because that's where they were on my reference photo. I've taken this idea from a reference photo that I cannot find the photographer for, unfortunately. I found it on Pinterest. This isn't my design, I just wanted to get back into body painting slowly again. I'm taking that yellow and I'm covering the rest of my body. I'm doing this because I know that I'm going to go in with pink later and that I'm going to cover it. And since this is what the sky is supposed to be, skies are dimensional, they're not just layers of color. And there's that pink again. I'm taking an angled brush here, and my goal was to make a straight line from one shoulder to another. But I am three-dimensional, and this took a little time. 
I used a different foundation applicator brush now with that color pink. It's the same color. It looks darker because, again, the water made it more transparent. I go back in and fix it later. And I use that pink to blend out the lilac and to blend through that yellow. Trying to get it as smooth as possible and noticing that it's going to take a little more work than necessary. So I add a little less water, the color is a little more opaque, and then I go hard. And it is blending with the yellow underneath it because these are water-based body paints, so adding different colors on top will inevitably change the color underneath. Which worked out in my case, you'll see. So at this point I'm noticing that the blend is nice and the color gradient is turning out okay from the yellow down to the pink, but it's still not pastel, it's still not how I want it, and I don't know what to do. Then I remember that cream paints are incredible, so I take a buffing brush and that middle white cream and I do this and realize, okay, this works, because that's right, creams blend beautifully on top of water-based body paints. So I try it out, it looks more pastel, oh, now everything's pastel. And I take it all the way down my neck and onto my chest, and it's the best decision I've made this entire look. I take an eyeshadow blender brush here, and I go between the colors lilac and baby blue, and this is where I fill in what will become the moon. I do the darkest parts first, because when I put the white on top, I don't want to disturb it. It's where I cast my shadows and my highlights without the white coming in. So I use that gel liner again by Colourpop to go back and create the lighter points of the moon. This is all inverted as well, so... It's gonna look backwards, but again, I'm looking at a reference image and I'm trying to get the lighter points. You can be as precise as you want with this, by the way. I wasn't because it's the moon. How, how detailed do you want it to look on my face? I then go in with the black water-based body paint and the thickest angled brush that I have by Real Techniques Brushes. And I start drawing some lines down my face. And I make them thicker because these are going to be our palm trees in the foreground. I add a couple more in the background, just for some depth, you know. Those initial strokes are made with a very light hand and they taper out as I lift the brush near the end of that stroke. The next brush I take is a little thinner and I do all of the... are they leaves? Are they... what, what are they called on the... You, you can see what I'm doing, I don't have to tell you. And I just fill in those leaves. <laughs> They're not called anything else, right? They're leaves. And I fill those in on every one of those branches. Being very careful not to create the thickest lines, I am also tapering them out as they reach the end of that line. It's important as well when doing details like this to do them quickly and with a light hand, because the more time you spend on a very small detail, the more wobbly, I guess, the line is going to get, and the more you're going to overthink it. And depending on how many palm trees you end up doing, it's more of a tedious process. I only chose to do four, and it took me a bit. On my second palm tree, on the other side of my face, I wanted it to not look exactly like my first one, to be kind of smaller, to look kind of further back. I do like looks that are a bit unbalanced, so that's why I did it that way. If you want to make it match, look exactly the same, that's completely up to you. I have a very thin brush that I used to use for watercolors, and I use that now for my very, very tiny palm trees. And I don't know how ticklish you are, but this part wasn't so bad for me. But yeah, that brush is very, very thin and very tiny. I go back in to paint my ears to make sure they don't look like they don't belong there. All in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I haven't body painted properly in about two years, and I'm really excited to be able to get back into it. I'm finally inspired again. So thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.